I just can't with this. All right, there she goes, running away. You know what? Don't you even start with me. You want to go there? If I accept this offer, that doesn't make us friends. I don't want to be your friend. I see there's no possibility in that. Or have you ever seen otherwise? Well, why don't you just tell me this whole thing has been a ruse since we got back from Paris? I'll respect you a little more. I don't need and what you respect. Oh, gee, I thought you said we could be civil towards one another. Yeah, I did, because I thought it would be nice to gush over our gorgeous grandson's photos someday or maybe sit in family dinner without causing a scene. Other than that, I want nothing from you. Okay, fine, I accept your offer. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Fantastic. Have a great day. You too. You too. The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Wednesday, November 22. Gloria's Legal Nightmare, Nate's Turning Point. The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Wednesday, November 22. Reveal that Michael Baldwin will finally fly home from Singapore with Gloria Bardwell, who's been through a messy legal ordeal. Hey there, lovely audience. I'm Amelia. Before we jump into our main discussion, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Michael was thankfully able to clear Gloria of all charges, but they'll both have some stunning updates on exactly what happened. Lauren Fenmore Baldwin will grill Gloria and Michael until she's satisfied with their explanation. From there, Michael, Gloria, and Lauren will enjoy Thanksgiving with Keevan Fisher and Chloe Mitchell at Society. Abby Newman Abbott will play hostess to the whole gang and basically congratulate Gloria on avoiding prison. Meanwhile, Ashley Abbott will reach an agreement with Tucker McCall. After listening to Kyle Abbott's somewhat misleading recording, Tucker may assume Ashley's mostly helping him fix things with Devin Hamilton Winters to protect Jaybot. In reality, Ashley seems to genuinely want to help Devin and Tucker make amends. Regardless of Ashley's motives, Tucker might make a deal to back off Jaybot if Ashley's plan is successful. Of course, Tucker can't be trusted to keep his end of the bargain, so Ashley would be wise to proceed with caution. Other Y and R spoilers say Nate Hastings will have a couple of good reasons to be grateful this year. For starters, it looks like Nate will start to feel like part of the family again at Thanksgiving dinner. Plus, Devin and Lily Winters should be open to Nate's return to Chancellor Winters as well. Mamie Johnson presumably spilled all the news she had on Tucker's plans off-screen, so that may be enough for Lily and Devin to officially welcome Nate back to the company. It'll take some time and hard work for Nate to rebuild trust, but he'll be hopeful about this new beginning. Mamie should also be over the moon since she's been doing everything in her power to encourage family unity. The young and the restless spoilers say Nate and Devin could still face some relationship hurdles along the way, so stay tuned for any obstacles that might be looming. The young and the restless recap, Tuesday, November 21, Nikki seizure story dupes Newman's, Cole arrives at Lake House. The Young and the Restless Spoilers recap for Tuesday, November 21, reveals that Claire Grace will run into Victoria Newman at Newman Media and lie that she came back to get some work. However, Claire will claim she just received news from Aunt Jordan about Nikki Newman having a seizure and collapsing this morning. Claire will insist that Jordan took Nikki to the hospital, but she'll act like she doesn't know which one since there aren't any near the lake house. Victor Newman will get updates on the crisis and order the pilot to get the Newman jet ready. It won't be long until Victor Victoria and Nick Newman are all waiting for their flight to take off. Claire will finally get Aunt Jordan on the phone and let her speak with Victor, who'll want Nikki's doctors to know she has MS. Jordan will assure Victor that the doctors figured it out and that Nikki responded well to the epilepsy medication she was given. Although Victor will want to know the name of the hospital, Jordan will pretend the call is breaking up and will ultimately disconnect. While the Newmans prepare for the trip back to Oregon, Nikki decides to pour out the vodka in her room to avoid temptation. Once Nikki opens the bottle, she'll be unable to resist guzzling it. Nikki will eventually let the bottle smash on the floor before she crawls into bed and asks herself what she's done. Later, Nikki hears something and wonders who's there as the bathroom door slowly opens. Downstairs, Cole Howard will arrive after receiving a Victoria-related message that he believes was from Nikki. As Cole opens the door, he'll call out for Nikki and ask if Victoria is all right. Back in Genoa City, Ashley Abbott will shock Jack Abbott and Diane Jenkins Abbott by revealing that she wants to invite Tucker McCall to Thanksgiving dinner. Once Jack voices his outrage, Ashley will clarify that she really just wants to invite Tucker and Devin Hamilton Winters over for a drink before the holiday meal. Jack still won't like that plan since he was looking forward to a drama-free Thanksgiving that was focused on the Abbotts. 
Since Jack will put his foot down on this, Ashley will decide maybe she can convince Devin and Tucker to have a drink with her at the club. Jack will urge Ashley to make it back in time for the family dinner since it's important for them to all be together. Diane will also speak with Ashley privately and push for the same thing. At the GCAC, Otter Charles will meet with Kyle Abbott, who'll act like they both got too emotional and let things get out of hand during their last conversation. Kyle will assure Audra that he wants back in the J-Bot takeover plot, so he'll join her along with Tucker in the jazz lounge to make another pitch. That's when Kyle will play a recording of Ashley as evidence of his loyalty. In the out-of-context audio clip, Ashley will act like helping Tucker make amends with Devin might keep him from going after J-Bot. Although Kyle will admit he doesn't trust Tucker or even Audra, he'll pretend he still wants to be part of this alliance and run J-Bot in the end. Kyle will also let Tucker know that he accepted Jack's COO offer and is letting him think that he's come around on being a team player. Tucker will acknowledge that he needs inside information to destroy the company, but Kyle will express concern about that. After all, Kyle can't run J-Bot if there's no company left to save. Tucker will amend his statement and suggest that he wants to cripple J-Bot instead. Jebot is strong enough to weather storms right now, so Tucker will hope to weaken it with a crisis and gain leverage. Kyle will warn Audra and Tucker not to play him, but he'll reiterate that he's in. As Kyle parts ways with Audra near the GCAC door, he'll suggest that he's putting up with Audra and Tucker, but he'll think it's clear who he's dealing with. Back with Tucker on Tuesday's I and R episode, he'll text Devon to ask if they can fix this and will admit he'd like to spend Thanksgiving with him. When Audra returns, Tucker will complain about Thanksgiving food and convince Audra to grab a burger with him upstairs in the dining area. At the Abbott Mansion, Kyle will let Diane know that the meeting went well. Now that everything is all set, Kyle will feel like Diane had the right idea and will express confidence in being able to undermine Tucker. After Jack comes out of the kitchen and gripes about Tucker, Kyle will suggest forgetting all about him and making this day about the Abbots. Gloria's young and restless return may bring with it a nightmare for Lauren and a dream come true for fans. With the Thanksgiving holiday comes the gathering of families on young and restless. Oh, maybe not the Newmans as Nikki's currently being held captive, but they'll be feeling the love at the Abbott mansion. The Winters family will be reunited for the first time in years. What with Nate back in the fold and Manny in town? and the Baldwin-Fisher clan will bring their unique dysfunctional vibe to society. In keeping with tradition, Gloria will return to weave a wild story and, according to teasers, share a shocking bit of news. Michael, fans will recall, abruptly left the campus back when Phyllis was about to have her day in court. Baldwin's red-headed bestie ended up leaning on her son's ex, legal eagle Heather, for help after it was revealed that Michael had flown off to Singapore where his mother Gloria was in one of her semi-regular fixes and required immediate legal assistance. We haven't seen Michael since, and while fans know that Christian Lubling was battling cancer during his time away, as far as his character is concerned, we have to assume that he's been up to his eyebrows in frustration with his handful of a mother, who must have really weaved a tangled web for herself this time around. Nonetheless, Michael and Gloria finally make their way back to Genoa City in time to spend the holiday with their loved ones, including Kevin, Greg Ricard, who we rarely see on screen these days despite numerous mentions from his wife, Chloe. Ricard, of course, plays Leo on Days of Our Lives. Happily, the gang will be all back together and will gather at Abby's trendy restaurant to mark Thanksgiving. But with their return comes good news and bad news. Young and Restless spoilers reveal that Michael and Gloria will have a shocking reveal for the rest of the family upon their return from overseas. What could it be? We already know from Lauren that Michael managed to keep Gloria out of prison in Singapore. The bad news may be that she was up on some pretty serious charges, perhaps even murder. We also know from the preview that Gloria isn't her usual perky self upon her arrival at the holiday gathering. She's either exhausted, hungover, very ticked off, or perhaps all of the above. Putting the clues together, our hunch is that the shocking reveal will be something that will spell an I get him already for Lauren and will be a dream come true for young and restless fans. If our hunch is correct, Gloria and Michael, exhausted from their ordeal and a long series of flights home, will break the stunning news that Glow was released from custody on the condition as she live with Michael, and hence Lauren, for a predetermined period of time thanks to her tangle with the law. Given Gloria's penchant for the dramatic and her larger-than-life personality, one can understand why we would call this a nightmare for Lauren.
but a dream come true for fans who would love to see Glow stick around Genoa City for a while to stir the pot. What do you think Michael and Gloria's shocking reveal will be? Let us know in the comments. We're grateful for your viewership. To stay updated with our latest content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up.